guys, I'm gonna do it for you. For you. So a lot of you guys have been telling me to go to Dago on Instagram and I've been a bit hesitant to go because I'm like, you guys aren't telling me why I should go. You're just telling me to go. It's a city. Some BTS members are from there. Go. And I'm like, is it worth going? Is it worth going to Daegu? So that's what we're gonna find out in this video. I am going to Daegu with a friend. We are leaving um, literally in like an hour, so I need to get going. Hardcore, get going. Um, but yeah, we're leaving and we're gonna go and this whole video is just gonna be like, is Daegu worth it? Is it worth it to go to Daegu? What is there to do in Daegu? We're gonna figure it out together. So uh, yeah, since we're running late, we should get going. Um, I'm so sweaty. <laughs> I've been packing since I got home from work. Last minute packing, done by Shuri. Anyways, we're gonna go, have a good time, hopefully in Daegu, and we're gonna see if it's worth the trip, so let's go. I've seen you in a movie, I heard you in a song. Now I know that this will never go wrong. Like you already knew me, that's why we get along. Yeah, I know that this will never go. in case people don't know you. Hi, my name is Natalia. I make videos about studying Korean at KU, aka Korea University. <laughs> I'm playing. Yeah. And I'm here in Daegu with Natalia. Yeah, it's the morning time. We're in, literally, it looks just like the woods. Yeah, I promise, Daegu is the third largest city in Korea, but <laughs> today we're, um, we're up here because we're gonna take a cable car, which we found like the other day when we planned this trip. So we're gonna go on it and we're really excited. So yeah, we're starting the day off strong, so. Let's do it! Yeah! Oh my god, this is so scary. Oh. Oh. 
gorgeous. Wow. Working theory of why there's two inches of whipped cream. 
<laughs> you see, I thought she was asking if we wanted whipping cream on the waffle. And I was like, of course. We want whipping cream on the waffle. But one time I'm like, yeah, I know what's going on. I did it. That was funny though. So she, that's she was looking right at me and was like, Do you want whipping cream on your cafe mocha? Sheree. Yes, she does. <laughs> yeah. That's, I literally fake it till I make it. I pretend I know Korean, guys. I really don't. <laughs> which is this guy was like a famous singer yeah. back in the day when democracy was first starting in Korea and a lot of his songs like express sympathy they express the frustration and sorrow the Korean people were feeling according to Google thank you so, <laughs> so it's just a whole street dedicated to him and his music we assume that's his music in the background because we've never heard his music before <laughs> but we're just gonna go down it and observe the street so it's gonna be a good time. Yeah. <laughs> So me 
Okay, Kim Kong so kill. I'm so awkward saying that. <laughs> it was a success, right? Success. It was so much fun. Really good things. I got some really good pictures. Had some pretty awkward but fun yeah. moments with everyone yeah. around. It was a good time. So now we're gonna go over to a market. Seomun Market. Yes, Seomun Market. We're gonna film some things, eat some things, have a good time, and then we'll see where life takes us. So, yeah, just waiting for the bus now. Let's go. Washing my hair with a uh, wool tissue. With a wet tissue. With a wet tissue and why? 
I got the syrupy hard sugar stuff on my hair. <laughs> and now it's it's so sticky. <laughs> ah, what? Oh no. Oh dear. <laughs> Escape. I have to get water on it. Okay. I have one. Wait, what? You can stop. I want you to show it. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Guess what? I got a cocktail at a night market. Yeah! <laughs> really? Bye -bye. Party, party, yeah? <laughs> That's the one BTS thing you get in this vlog, guys. <laughs> Market and we're going to take the KTX back home. So, yep. So, yeah, let's go take the KTX, guys. Let's go. <laughs> so Yeah. Yeah, it's 1.26 in the morning and I just got home. 
Oh my gosh. Uh, once we got to Seoul Station, all the subways and were closed and the buses were just taking forever to come and stuff. So me and Natalia waited for a taxi and we literally waited in that line for like 40 to 45 minutes for a taxi. The taxi driver that came though was amazing. He was awesome. I love him. Like he was so sweet and just really nice. Yeah, he was great. <laughs> like he just like let me off at my place and he was like making sure it was the right place and like he knew I didn't speak much Korean and he was just like so kind. And so honestly, there are some of like the nicest people that I experience as like a foreigner with limited Korean in Korea and I really appreciate it. If you're a Korean watching this video, um, thank you for being nice to people like me. <laughs> um, it, it means more to us than you might think. I haven't noticed actually that a lot of you guys who are watching me are Korean and I feel like that's kind of like rare I don't know so I'm just like kind of curious about why you're following me so if you're a Korean watching this video and you want to comment down below um, why you follow me that would be super cool because I would just like be very curious to know I'm sounding coherent right now but I'm dying inside I cannot wait to sleep I'm so happy it's Sunday tomorrow I don't have church until 2 p.m. tomorrow ah but here are my final thoughts about Daegu okay so Daegu is, it's a big city, but it's like kind of like chill, it has chill vibes as well. There's less people, like it's less crowded than Seoul, but there isn't really anything like touristy there. Or like, I mean, there's nice cafes, there's nice places to eat. There was the, um, there was the cable car. But like, other than that, there's not many like touristy things to do. And so I kind of came to the general consensus that I don't know. I don't think if you're living in Seoul, I don't think that Daegu is necessarily worth visiting because I feel like Daegu is like very similar to Seoul or like not very similar, but anything that you could do in Daegu, you could most likely do here in Seoul. And so while I'm happy I went on the trip and me and Natalia had a ton of fun, um, it wouldn't be on my list of like, you gotta go visit Daegu, you know? Like I'm happy I went to Daegu, but I'm also like, am I gonna go again? Probably not unless I have a real good reason to. Um, Cause it just is, there was nothing like that stood out to me a lot about Daegu. Um, so that is my analysis at 1.30 in the morning from very, very tired Sheree who didn't get much sleep last night. Um, I can go into more details if you want to ask like comments or some, if you ask, ask questions in the comments section, I can um, answer them for you. But overall, yeah, it was just like, there was nothing that really stood out to me about Daegu. So yeah, that, that's all. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I really did enjoy myself. I'm not saying that I didn't. I really enjoyed myself in Daegu, but, um, but yeah, again, nothing stood out to me. So. Yeah, but I, I can enjoy myself nearly every, anywhere I travel to, so it was still a good time. So yeah. So yeah, on that note, I'm going to go to bed because I'm really tired. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you like hanging out with me and Natalia and Daegu. It was a really fun time. Um, be sure to thumbs up this video if you liked it and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And you can also press on the notification button so that you never miss out on a new video. Put in the comments below other places in Korea that you would like me to travel to and film at or anything else in the comments. I love talking to you guys down there, so yeah. Uh, again, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you soon with another one. Bye guys!